Oh, baby. <laughs> You're going to want to sit down for this one. We just found out about it. Jesse doesn't even know the name we're talking about. I think I do. Stop looking at Twitter. Yeah, what do you want me to do? On How are you able friend? to look at Twitter? Yeah, we're apparently not allowed to look at Twitter I've, anymore. I've Thanks, looked Elon. at the, the cap of 10 tweets a day yeah, that uh, Elon has instituted. Uh, sportsinteraction.com slash SDPN. The name we're going to drop out there, by the way, is Justin Hall. The team, Detroit Red Wings. The number. $3.4 million a year for how many years, guys? How many? How many years? I, I didn't know. Three. three years. Three years. Three years, 3.4 a year. Now, in a... What's wrong with that, guys? In a flat cap world, what's wrong? that is painful. However, I will say this, keeping with my what's it going to look like in July 24 and July 25, yeah. probably not bad on the money part, but what are Detroit fans in for with Justin Hall? I mean, he lost his job to Luke Shen, who took less. Um, so that's probably a bad sign. Mm -hmm. um, literally both three-year terms. Hall got far more somehow. Um, I was going to say maybe Detroit will be a better fit stylistically. We know that is unlikely mm -hmm. because Hall was a very effective defenseman on the Toronto Marlies. Um, and he was paired with another, uh, D with NHL, uh, resume with Martin Marincin, uh, Sheldon Keefe used them as kind of the shutdown pair. Um, they won a Calder cup. That's the minors. Yep. Yep. Hall has shown flashes of great promise and has made some great plays with the Leafs, but there have been so, so many nights where he's just been barely treading water. Um, you know, the, Steve Eiserman would know defensemen who are good at moving the puck. This makes sense. I'm okay with it. Well, well, I mean... <laughs> he's good at getting it up the ice. He does have... He's, his, his, the, the analytics love him. You know what doesn't love him is the footage. Dude, like... <laughs> it's he, painful to watch sometimes. His mistakes are <laughs> obvious. He handles the puck in his own end like a grenade. Um... So there's going to be a delicate song and dance here because he can do some good things for you. He can be an effective penalty killer. He can be good at advancing the puck up the ice. If the forwards don't help him out, if the forwards aren't in the proper position, he's going to bobble the thing. He's going to put it in his glove, throw it. If there's he's a player skating towards him, his decision-making on the fly isn't great. No. He has all the talent. He has all the skills. And you know what? I'll say this about Justin Hall. Beloved in the dressing room. People <laughs> yep. love him. There's Amazing not teammate. a single bad word you can say about Justin Hall, the person. But if you're a Detroit hockey fan, and Detroit hockey fans are some of the most educated in the league, this guy will drive you nuts certain nights. And he tends to drive you nuts when the game is on the line and there's a lot at stake. In a, in a full 82-game season, Mike Babcock scratched Justin Hall 71 times. He played 11 games. You never heard a peep of complaint. He was showing up at like the charity events and everything. Not a peep of complaint. The teammates love him. Mm -hmm. um, I think this is going to make Mitch Marner pretty sad, actually. Those dudes mm. are pretty tight um, on the Leafs. That's a good point. So good locker room ad. That's not good locker room ad money. That is, you need to make an impact on our team money, and I'm not sure that's the guy. I think you're overreacting a little because yeah. Adam's point that he consistently makes about the cap going up, it looks a lot better. Plus, when you're not in Toronto, the spotlight's a little easier. We saw we saw what happened with Detroit. Cody CC. We saw what happened with Cody CC in Edmonton. Hockey Town. It got easier. It got easier for Cody CC. If Justin Hall is in a role that's appropriate for Justin Hall, he's gonna succeed. So you actually you bring up a really interesting point. Because uh, someone was asking me about David Camp's contract, mm -hmm. and it 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 applies to Justin Hall. This is one of the first years I can think of where big term on a contract actually makes me feel better about it, because the this is the first time in a very long time that the cap is going to go up. Yep. Long term deals used to be. I mean, it's what doomed the lease basically. <laughs> it, uh, long term contracts are. Okay, it's expensive now. It'll be cheap at the end of it. Yeah. And what everyone who signed a long-term contract, like from basically 2018 onward, um, found out is, oh, the cap isn't going to go up. 
So this is the first time in over half a decade that we're going to see the cap go up significantly. So term, not that three years is long term. You know what it is? Um, not a lot of guys were getting three years these last few years. And now they are. They're the getting it this off down. season though. Yeah. That's going to be the number. Season. Um, and I think it benefits the team. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just it, stability. It, it goes up next year. So you feel better about the 3.4. It goes up the season after he's in his, Prime-ish. I think he's, eh, what is he, 30? 31, I think. But he's been relatively healthy. I can't remember him missing many games due to injury. Um, and uh, despite being one of the worst guys willing to fight in the NHL. He's still willing to do it. He's still willing to do it. If he has to. If you see him drop the gloves, just know he's probably about to get his ass kicked. And you're probably losing. And then, <laughs> and then you're probably in bad shape anyway. Lion, you're probably losing. But, uh, you know... There better be a lot of backpats to go around. I have one question for the both of you. <laughs> Give it to us. If this is the number that somebody was willing to pay Justin Hall, the Detroit Red Wings, uh, Steve Eisenman over there, do we look back at Kyle Dubas and the way he run the, ran the trade deadline and not say, could there was there not a market for Justin Hall at the trade deadline? Yeah, could you was, not we, have gotten listen, significant pieces if this is what he's able to get in UFA? If, Jesse, not only that, but the same thing with Alex Kerfoot. Wherever he signs this year, there was a market for him, and the Leafs needed to hang on to him. They needed him. They wanted him. They said, no, we are not including him in any deal. And by the way, the proposed deal apparently might have included, and I'll leave you with this note, Kerfoot in the St. Louis trade, Barbashev coming along with Ryan O'Reilly and Nolachari. I did ask about Justin Hall, not Alexander. Kerfoot. I know, but I'm just throwing it out there <laughs> to that point. Uh, what do you think the Hall could have been for Hall? Uh, I don't think the Leafs ever really considered it. Um, they wanted him for the playoffs. I will throw this in though. We talk about Hall and how he wasn't great once, uh, you know, he was swapped in for Timothy Lilligren, not this year's playoffs, but the playoffs before, you know, who was assistant coach on the lightning that year, Derek Lalonde, oh. who, who's their head coach there. So a lot of fans didn't like it, but apparently he did. Mm, there you go. So, Justin Hall, you are now a Detroit Red Wing for at least three more years. Uh, take good care of me as a good guy. And uh, always, good guy. always can always root for Justin Hall. And I'll never forget this. He was called up for his first game in the National Hockey League with the Toronto Maple Leafs um, on uh, the father's trip. And he scored a goal in his first two games. And that was pretty cool. So, good luck, Justin Hall, and congratulations.